Hello, it's Lucy and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be talking about my biggest regrets and lessons learned as a transfer student. If you're applying to transfer or you're thinking about transferring, I highly encourage you to watch this video. I can assure you that you won't regret it. So let's get started. For those of you who don't know, I went to Cornell University during my freshman year of college and I transferred to Northwestern University during my sophomore year of college. So I spent my sophomore, junior, and now senior year at Northwestern, and since then I've had a lot of time to reflect on my transfer process. And one of my biggest regrets is telling myself that once I get into Northwestern, I will be happy. I remember just imagining to myself, as soon as I get that acceptance letter, I'll be happy. All of my problems will go away, all of the rainbows and butterflies will be out shining, but the reality is, is this just isn't healthy. It's not good to place all of your happiness on one thing. And we can extract that to other things in life. It's not healthy to place all of your happiness on the job that you possess or the amount of money that you have. Similarly, it's not healthy to place all of your happiness on the university that you attend. And this is something that I really battled with all throughout my freshman year during the application process. I Every time something bad went wrong at Cornell, um, whether it's like I had a bad experience with one of my professors or one of my classes or just the university in general, I would always be like, well, this wouldn't happen at Northwestern. Like Northwestern is where I'll be happy. And it was just so dangerous. Um, I got caught up in this idea that my happiness is dependent on this external thing. So the lesson learned here is that I need to find my own happiness from within. I need to be able to find happiness in the small things in life, in the things, the people around me, my experiences, who I am as a person, and I can't let external things determine my happiness. And similarly, I hope that all of you can do the same. My next regret is not living in the present during the transfer process. I remember from the moment I decided I wanted to transfer back in fall of my freshman year until the moment I got my decision at the end of my freshman year, I was frozen in time. I was only thinking about my decision and I had this whole vision in my mind of what it would be like if I was accepted and went to Northwestern. But during this whole entire time, I wasn't living in the present. I wasn't appreciating the time that I had to spend with my family during COVID as much as I could. And I wasn't appreciating the friendships or the clubs that I was joining at Cornell as much as I could because I was so stuck in the future. I was so stuck in what could be. And I couldn't appreciate all of the things around me. So, one of my biggest lessons here is don't let the future consume you. Don't let the idea of going to this other university consume you like I did. Try to live in the present. Try to not think about your decision because once you submit that application, there's nothing that you can do. It's just a waiting game at that time. And I know it's extremely difficult, but for your own benefit and for the benefit of the people around you, Try not to let the future consume you. My next regret is expecting a university to be perfect. I come from a first generation, lower income background. So when I got into Cornell University, a university I never thought that I would even get into, an Ivy League university, I had the highest of expectations. I thought that all of the professors would be amazing and the students would be amazing and the faculty and the whole university would just be perfect. But I quickly found out that wasn't the case, especially during the pandemic. So many things were disorganized. So many announcements and emails were cluttered and didn't make sense. And I thought, how could a university like Cornell, an Ivy League university, have so many things going wrong with it? It wasn't just the announcements and the emails. There were so many other things. They were having exams on the weekends. They were breaking up our fall break. 
so that students wouldn't go home during fall break to prevent the spread of COVID, but instead it meant that professors could just assign homework assignments during our broken up fall break. So it made things terribly more stressful. I also witnessed multiple of my classmates take their lives at Cornell. And while this isn't completely the university's fault, there, I mean, we were having a worldwide pandemic I thought the, the university was partly to blame. I mean, some of these students were living on campus. And I think a huge part of this just made me be extremely dissatisfied with Cornell. But I had to recognize that every institution has its flaws. No institution is perfect. Not even the top ranked institution or university in the country or even the world. Everything is flawed and everyone's just trying their best, including the universities and the faculty members and the students. And I just didn't really understand that at the time when I was at Cornell and I was applying to transfer. So when all of these bad things were going on, I thought to myself, well, none of this would ever happen at Northwestern. And I placed that same expectation of the university having this sort of level of perfection when I was applying to transfer. And then when I got to Northwestern, I saw lots of good and bad. I mean, I saw dining hall workers protesting. I was on locked up and Norris on lockdown when there was a shooter nearby. There's bad things that happen in all places. And you can't just keep comparing bad thing to bad thing at different universities. At some point, it has to end. So I guess the lesson learned here is that no university is perfect. You need to try to understand that the university that you're at or the university that you're applying to is just trying their best. Everyone is just trying their best. So you shouldn't try to judge the university so harshly when one bad thing goes wrong. Another thing that I regret was being too afraid to get close to people at Cornell because I knew that there was a possibility that I might transfer schools. I remember as the decision date got closer and closer, I started slowly backing away from all of the friends that I made at Cornell because I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Whether or not I was gonna be accepted, I didn't know. But if in the chance that I was accepted to Northwestern and I decided to transfer, that means that I might hurt myself and the people around me. And I just didn't wanna do that. But I think I was looking at it the wrong way. I was looking at transferring as an immediate end to my friendships, but it certainly wasn't. I can tell you from experience that I am still friends with a few close friends from Cornell that I talk to on a regular basis and they are one of my some of my best friends but at the time I was scared that maybe if they found out that I was transferring then they wouldn't want to be friends with me at all so I decided to back off but in hindsight that was the wrong decision so the lesson here is that people will come and go in your life but if you find the good ones you should keep them close to you you should try to work and build on those friendships no matter what's gonna happen in the future because you have no idea what's gonna happen in the future. You have no idea if those people will be around or not, even if you go to the same institution and you're not even applying to transfer. So don't let the fear of getting close to people knowing that you're gonna transfer, don't let it get to you like it did for me. Just be open and Try to build all of the friendships that you have, especially the good ones, because they'll definitely make it worth your while. My next regret is overthinking everything. I remember when I was applying to transfer, everything had to be so well thought out and planned. I thought so much about the professors that I would ask to write letters of recommendations. How would I ask them? How would I approach them? I thought so much about my friends. How was I going to spill the news to them when I told them that I would transfer? I thought so much about my essays. 
from every single little word in a 300 word essay. I picked out each and every single word and tried to see if I could make it better. Of course, it's important to edit your essays and submit the best that you can, but it's not good to overthink everything. I would also look at reddits, like subreddits, and try to find out who had gotten accepted in the past. What was their application like? What was special about their application? How can I mimic what they did to get me to be accepted? And then when the decisions started coming out on a rolling basis, I was constantly checking Reddit and other social media forums to see if people had posted that they were accepted. And what major were they? What college in Northwestern were they accepted to? Were they accepted to Weinberg or McCormick or Beanin or etc.? And then I would overanalyze everything. I'd be like, oh, well, this person got accepted to McCormick, but I, I applied to Weinberg. So Weinberg decisions must not be out. So I guess I'm safe, right? But I was just overthinking everything and there's no need to. There's nothing that you can do after you submit your application, but wait. And you can either do it with a clear head and a clear mind, or you can do it like me and overthink everything, which I highly do not recommend because I was going crazy for those few months, especially when admissions were starting to come out. So my last lesson is let go of things that you can't control. If there's something you can't control, just let it go. There's no use worrying about it or trying to do something about it if you have zero control over the outcome. Those are my biggest regrets and lessons learned as a transfer student. I hope that you're able to take in some of my advice and apply it in your own life. And for those of you transferring or thinking about transferring, I wish you the best of luck in your transfer application process. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Bye.